Hello everybody, this is Quan, or Brian's from QuanLabs.net. So today in this video I want to give you a new uh, view of this equivalent um, HFT-like high-speed trading software architecture, blue map, roadmap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did a two-hour presentation uh, on Monday a few days ago. Uh, today, um, when I try to port everything over from that project done in Apple's uh, Xcode IDE uh, with C line, it uh, didn't port too well with uh, into Linux. So here we are on my Ubuntu Linux environment using Virtual Machine, uh, sorry, Virtual Box with a Virtual Machine um, with Ubuntu 14.04. Before I get started. Um, during my presentation, I did a poll to see how many would be interested in a Visual Studio equivalent project. These libraries uh, that I'm working with will not work on Windows or .NET, so you do have to use um, Linux. It's preferred anyways, like 90% of all these type of systems are um, available only, uh, or all done in Linux. And uh, Ubuntu right now is the easiest, so all my members, I'm going to encourage them to stick with Ubuntu. Uh, and I'm using 14.04, which is more stable than the current version of, of 16.04 uh, in terms of bugs, as well as um, some other things. So let me just show you what I've done here. Now, I've got a terminal, but I'm using something called Terminator. And... Um, Basically, what I'm going to show you is the projects, very high level. So, first thing I want you to pay attention to is I'm not, uh, originally I was hoping to use a Code Light IDE, but I'm using one called Code Blocks. Uh, this is 1312. This is a standard uh, IDE that you would use um, that when you install into Ubuntu, um, that's the version you get. And that, you know, you don't need to upgrade it for the sort of stuff that I'm doing. So let me just show you uh, how to typically install it. So just go sudo apt get install code blocks and uh, that's it. It's all you need to do. And then your user password, boom, boom, boom. It's already installed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we got code blocks running. Okay, so what I want to show are three quick projects. Um, and uh, if you want the source code, here's um, how it all pretty well works. Now, um, if you log into, uh, you have to be a Quant Elite member, so essentially if you go into my uh, academy section, or basically better known as my, um, as my uh, Elite membership, for uh, Quant Elite membership, um, I'm, just gonna, I'm just currently logging in here on another screen. Bear with me. Okay, so here is my elite membership. Now, this is this is a uh, maybe you've seen it, maybe you've seen these videos, but if you just go under Quant, once you, you log in, you can just go into the academy here uh, and get the latest uh, info. And then here you'll see high speed trading, C software for architecture, Mac OS, and Ubuntu. Just so everybody knows that Mac OS is now called, well, in the next few months, it will be officially called Mac OS instead of Mac OS 10 or Mac OS X. So here's the actual post that I'm referring to. This video is my two hour presentation. Um, and as I said, when I showed this, uh, I was using an Xcode project, uh, so you can download that Xcode project for Mac here. And what I'm about to show you here are the uh, downloads for uh, what I'm about to show you here for Ubuntu Linux. Now, all the stuff I'm showing you is all free uh, on the Linux <coughs> on the Linux side. So we have here three projects. We've got. In the same spirit I've shown in before uh, with Redis uh, using their PubSub uh, model or pat design pattern. Uh, so there's a publisher equivalent, there's a subscriber equivalent example to show you how to interface with the Redis on top of the one with the TBB, Intel TBB multi-threading. So that's the actual 
um, source code all here, okay? And there's gonna be some more postings gonna be put up. So you can download that source code now, and again, I'm only gonna keep it up for a very short period of time. So here we have our code blocks, and um, a couple things you obviously will need to worry about. So I'm just gonna create a new uh, terminal here. Okay. So I'm going to start up. First, I want to show you how to check to see if your uh, Redis is running. So do a ps ef um, minus ef pipe and then grep for Redis in the process list. Um, looks like I do have Redis server running here. Um, that's probably a service that automatically starts it. So I know it's running uh, my Redis. So I can obviously confirm that. Uh, by running Redis cl cli, cli, and then ping, and then respond with pong. Now, if I go in and kill that process, I shut that sudo, kill 9, and then the process ID of 1156, that will kill the process, right? Okay, so if I do that PS stuff again, you'll see there's no Redis running. So if I do a Redis cli again, do a ping, there's no pong because it could not connect into Redis because the connection is refused. So let me just start up my Redis server. There's our Redis server running as a standalone version. I'm always just for testing and development purposes, I always use the default of 6379 for the port. So now we know that Redis is running, let me just do another Redis fly just to confirm it's running. So we've got ping, pong. Okay, so that's all working, cool. All right, so we know Redis is running, so let's go into tool blocks here. And as I sh showed you, um, there is uh, two versions. First, there's a subscribe version of um, uh, this one here. So this is the publisher. Okay, so that's the source code. Okay, so I'm gonna close that project, but I'm gonna run it on the uh, command line, close all projects. Okay, so here I'm gonna go to that folder where that uh, program or that project resides. So CPP, um, and uh, I'm just doing LS here. So I have test pub. Okay, so we know that's running. So all I got to do now is go into the bin. Um, and here you'll notice I've got release mode, debug mode. No different if you've worked with, uh, with the... Um, Visual Studio or other popular IDEs, so it's you can you can be in debug mode or release mode with it from within your IDE. So in that case, we just navigate into our release folder like that, and guess what? We have now a test uh, pub. So we're going to publish something into the uh, Redis. So we're going to publish and push this message hello into Redis, okay? So that's all cool. Now, the other program that I have available for download, as another example, is the, um, uh, let me just do it, uh, uh, we have another one which is <clears throat> basically uh, the, the uh, subscriber, just the standard subscriber. So this is it here. So if I uh, close this project and navigate on my terminal. Okay, so go back here. Let me just create another, actually no. No, yeah, I'll create another terminal here. Mm, okay, we'll use this one. Okay, 
so what we're going to do here is we've got, um, I'm going to use this publisher here in this window, and then I'm going to set up my uh, subscriber uh, in this window. Okay, so we got to go to our top, our home directory, CPP, test, and sub. Let's do a list here. Um, CPP, and then test. Uh, we want subscriber. Uh, which one is it? Test. This one here. Okay, and again, what we do is we navigate into our proper uh, folder to run it. Ah. All right, so here is our program. So basically, I'm going to set this up, and uh, what this does, it's now waiting. And, and Okay, so basically, this is now subscribed to a topic for within Redis. So it's connected to Redis, and it's waiting for messages to be pushed into Redis and it's going to print out those messages or that data from Redis. And this again, these are all written in C++. So if I did before and I go hello, you'll see the message says hello. So that's now, because it's subscribed to that topic and um, you know if I put in another message say hello too, you can see it gets, uh, it receives it here. So this is all through Redis itself, okay? So those, that's this again, this is the publisher, and this right here is the um, subscriber. So that's just the basic test that I want to show. Okay, one last thing I want to show you is in a code blocks here, we have now using the uh, TBB for multi-threading. Uh, where are we? Uh, here we are. Okay, so here's the source code for everything to get you uh, started. And uh, I'm just going to go back to my um, to my uh, close all this out. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move to that folder. Um, CPP. I know it's test uh, sub. TBP. Okay, this is the one we want, so let's go to that proper folder. Okay, so here we are. So we're going to run this one, and basically, we do the same thing as before. Publish, and I'll do hello to. So here's what's happening is if you've seen the code before, it's received that hello message I showed before, but here's where it gets different. Each one of these is a separate, call it an algorithm, uh, divided up in a node. Um, Hopefully you remember the um, diagram where you have a data and then breaks off into two separate workers or nodes, and the other end it joins together the results of those. So this is what it's doing here, as it's running a cube function uh, and, and parallelizes it with a square function, and then out of that will come a result once it puts together the results and it'll you know maintain a, a result. Uh, for every time it gets run. So let me just do this again. So I'll do hello too. It does the same thing. So I'll make sure it runs a cube, runs a square, and then it'll run or it'll summarize this total each time um, this is uh, executed. So you'll see that it's now six. And again, it's uh, received the hello message, hello three message cube square uh, functions get run and then the final result as well. So that's pretty well everything in a simplistic form. So again, that code, three projects um, are definitely uh, here uh, in this listing here. And uh, for Linux and Ubuntu, these are the three projects I'm referring to. So I got, I showed you the um, publisher, the subscriber alone, and then the subscriber with the Intel TBB um, as well. Okay, so that's pretty well it. And again, um, there's no support for this sort of thing in Windows. Redis does not run on Windows properly. Um, there's no .NET support for any of these libraries. Uh, so again, you want to strive to to run it, everything in Windows or in Linux. Uh, right now, Ubuntu is fine if you're new to all this. So uh, hopefully, uh, this video will help you out.
and uh, again, all this stuff that I'm showing you will only be available for, for a very, very limited time, i.e. Uh, 24 hours, and it's actually up now. So, um, and again, I'll be using this code base as a foundation for a uh, HFT system that I'll be writing for a uh, private hedge fund, and uh, the, the funding of it is going to be eight digits. So that is quite possibly going to be happening using this architecture. And I forgot to mention as well, um, because I'm running in Linux, uh, I always have Fastflow in my back pocket um, as well, uh, with a lot more flexibility than what TBB gives, but this Intel TBB is good enough as it is right now. So I just want to put that out there. Have a good day.